Hey friends, welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing real life ways in which you as a real estate agent and entrepreneur can use Notion AI in your business. So I'm sure you've all heard of ChatGPT and of new AI tools. Now Notion has come out with Notion AI, which allows you to utilize the new AI tools directly in Notion. So, so without further ado, let's jump into it. So, so here I've got the Ultimate Agent Hub, which is the template that I use and sell to multiple real estate agents around the world. If you are interested in this template, you can find the link down below. Um, I'm just going to do a quick refresher of how um, to actually start using AI in Notion. So Notion AI examples. All right, so as soon as you create a page here, so you have a button where you can right away use Notion AI. But let's start with an empty page. So they made it super easy for you. If you want to use Notion AI, you just use space. Ask AI to do anything for you. So the first cool way that you can use Notion AI in your business would be for content creation. So I'm gonna go into my social media planner here. So we all know that content creation can be pretty time consuming and we, want, we all want to create great content as real estate agents to bring in more leads. So you can actually use Notion AI to quickly generate ideas, outlines, and even entire scripts for your videos, your blog posts, your newsletters, etc. So let's, I'm gonna start with this post that I'm currently scripting, okay? So best neighborhoods in your city. Let's see if Notion AI can help me with this. So I'm gonna open it in my full page to for a short okay. social media video about the best neighborhoods. Okay, here we go. AI is writing. Very cool. So, um, brainstorm. In this video, we'll be exploring the best neighborhoods to live in Austin, Texas. We'll highlight the unique features of each neighborhood, such as school districts, parks, and restaurants. We'll also provide unique insights into the local real estate market and why each neighborhood is a great choice for potential home buyers. Awesome. So, introduction Austin, Texas. And then at the end, I wrote captions. So, what's the caption that I would be using on this video? Looking to buy a home in Austin, Texas? Check out our latest video. And then even some hashtags that you can use. Obviously, you want to tailor this to to, you know, pieces of information that you would like to provide to your audience. Um, but I think this provides a really great um, outline. This may be a little long for a short video, um, like on YouTube short, TikTok, or Instagram reel. This might be more of a YouTube video. So if I wanted to convert this long form video into a short form video, I could ask Notion AI, convert the, above. okay. So it's basically, it's kept a lot of the same information, um, but it's, cut it down a bit so that you can kind of just shoot it out on a short form um, video. Again, you know, put in the, the details that you want to have, but it really accelerates the process and makes it a lot less overwhelming to come up with ideas and come up with a structure for your video. Um, you've basically got it all outlined here with Notion AI and, and you would just have to fill in the gaps and make it your own, right? And speak to your own audience. Of course, if you wanted to have a more professional feel or more playful feel, more funny feel, you can also do that. Um, I'll show you an example. If I wanted to say, um, Notion AI, make the above short video script more fun, funny, and playful. So if um, if your personal brand, your um, social brand is you know, more playful, if it's more educational, if it's more serious, you can um, use Notion AI to change the tonality, the tone of, of what it outputs. And you can use that to make your, your scripts more relevant to your target audience and more relevant to your brand. So make the above short video script more funny and playful. Let's see what, they, let's see what Notion AI comes up with. <laughs> As There's a bit more slang, slang in there. Don't, Don't forget, forget to bring, to bring your cowboy boots. boots. Yeah, yeah, so, so it adds a little, little bit more, more playfulness in the script, script which, which is really cool, cool that Notion AI is able to do that. that. Okay. Okay. okay, so let's say I am putting up this property for sale, 555 Happy Drive for Mariah Carey. So I'm going to open this up in full page. All right, so create listing description. So this is actually something I've created here. In this template, actually, I've created a button that inserts a an Ocean AI block, um, which will be the same, you know, regardless of the of the property that you have that you're listing. The same block will will be popping up because putting you should be inputting as much information as you can in order for Notion AI to um, create an accurate, accurate listing description based on the property details that you're giving it. So 
That's why I created this button because in any case, I'm going to be using Notion AI and I'm going to be inputting these details for Notion to be able to come up with a description. So, so I'm going to click on the button here, create listing description with Notion AI. Now, use, Notion, use AI to generate a real estate listing description to attract real estate buyers based on the property details below. So property type, I'm going to write detached luxury property, oh, other important details listing description, you can make sure to put it in there so that it does come up when Notion AI creates a listing description. So, so now that I put in all my details, I'm going to click generate. Step inside and be greeted by a spacious and welcoming open concept living area, perfect for hosting gatherings and entertaining guests. The luxury bathrooms and fixtures provide a touch of elegance while the upgraded kitchen and new metal roof offer modern convenience and style. An incredible opportunity to own a piece of luxury in Calabasas. Schedule showing today and make this house your home sweet home. I like it. Again, anything no <laughs> generated by Notion AI, you should not be just copy pasting. Definitely go in and you know adjust as needed adjust any order or, or wording that you sure double check everything and correct before you make it live on uh, you know realtor.com realtor.ca zillow etc so that's, that's it but like isn't that so cool that it is basically doing a lot of the copywriting for you right so it's it's bringing all your details into a nice description with nice qualitative adjectives to make it more appealing to your target audience and then you can go in and just correct a few things and then put it on your put it, put it up on your listing so huge time saver here and i'm sure that actually a lot of agents are already using this um copywriters even are probably using this it might save you a lot of time all right that was number two number three way that you can use notion ai in your business would be for email templates okay so i had here business operations this is where i would keep my email templates okay so look at this email templates so we use email all the time as real estate agents but drafting the perfect email can be quite time consuming so notion ai will help you do this it'll create a professional sounding well-written email that you can copy paste and tailor for each client that or client or contact or whatever that you are sending an email to um so let's say i often refer refer my clients to a lawyer that i trust so I can use my lawyer introduction template. I'm going to see what I have here. Okay, so I can use Notion AI to either improve the writing of this template that I've already created, or I can ask Notion AI to, to write a new uh, template. I'm going to say Notion AI act as a real estate agent. So you can tell Notion AI what role to adopt when, when giving you its response. So I'm going to tell Notion AI to act as a real estate agent while writing this email, right? Mm -hmm. So act as a real estate agent. Write an email template to send to your clients when making an email introduction to a real estate lawyer contact. Let's see what, what, what it comes up with here. Subject, introduction to real estate lawyer. Dear client, I hope this email finds you well. I am pleased to introduce you to lawyer name, a trusted real estate lawyer who can assist you with any legal matters related to your purchase or sale, right? So obviously, again, as with every single example in this video, you want to personalize your emails um, so that it does sound like it's coming from you, so it doesn't sound like it's coming from a robot or Notion AI. Um, so add in kind of like phrases that you would normally use or, you know, change the change the salutation at the end or the hello at the, at the beginning to something that you would typically use in your own emails to make it sound more like you. But yeah, it gives you a really nice template that you can work with and again, super Huge time saver, right? So we love this. And just to give you an example of how Notion can also help you improve the writing of something you've already written, I'm gonna go back and look at this template that I had written out for myself already. And I'm just gonna say, um, Notion AI, improve writing of the above, improve writing of the above email template. Let's see what it comes up with. So it did improve the writing of the email that I had written out. So kind of just like, added a few more um, descriptors and made it sound a little bit nicer. Right, so that's perfect. I love that, you know, you can really use Notion AI to your advantage in, in terms of you know what needs to go into your email. So I would write out my email very, very like bare bones, very kind of drafty. I don't need to put too much effort into how it sounds or how it's presented. I can then use Notion AI on top of the draft that I've written out to 
improve the writing and make it sound super nice or you know if I want to make it sound serious like if I'm, if I'm trying to get something done and things are not happening I can make the email sound a little more serious I can change the tone of my email based on what emotion or you know intention I'm trying to convey to my recipient so next <laughs> number four on the list and stay until the end because because my favorite one is number five and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this I make a video every week around Notion for real estate agents and entrepreneurs so let's get to it so way number four in which you can use Notion AI for your business is for phone scripts so I know that a lot of people a lot of agents do cold calling and when you're making your calls oftentimes you'll be using a script um, whether that's a script that you have written down, whether that's a script that is in, that lives in your head and that you go through to make sure that uh, all points are covered during a phone conversation. We often use phone calls in real estate, so it is really important to have scripts that convey your messaging well and that get information from the client that is going to move things forward in, in the transaction process and in the lead process. So, so I'm going to keep my phone scripts here. So I'm going to create a page. I'm going to call it phone call scripts. Phone call scripts. Uh, it's going to be an empty page. I'm going to add an icon. It makes things much more visual and aesthetic. All right, phone call scripts. Say I want to make a phone call script for um, a new internet lead, right? So Notion AI. I'm going to ask Notion AI to write a phone call script for. Um, as a real estate agent calling a new lead captured on an internet home search site. Enter. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, so it actually comes up with a script here. Add as much detail as you can when prompting Notion AI to make sure that you're getting out of it what you really want, right? So here, I would probably ask Notion AI to come up with responses to common objections because we know that you know often the phone the phone call isn't just going to go as smoothly as it does here. The the recipient of the phone call might be like, "Sorry, I'm not interested right now," and you know you need to kind of like add more objection handling to the script. I think so. That's something that I could have added from the get go when I prompted Notion AI. Um, so here I'm gonna say add to the above script. Some responses to common objections. What's the objective here of our phone call is to get an appointment. So the objective is to get an appointment with the lead. So when you can give Notion AI what your objective is um, with a particular prompt, it, this can help you as well, right? So, right? So let's see what it did here. If a lead has an objection, I'm not ready to meet with an agent yet. I'm working with another agent. I'm not interested in any of the properties you have in mind. Honestly, I'm reading through this and they're pretty great. They're pretty, they're pretty good. You know, obviously it needs to be adjusted a bit. Like, you know what tends to work when you're making your phone calls and what tends and what really doesn't tend to work. So but yeah, overall, pretty good, pretty good. And gives you a good little outline. So good job, Notion AI. I like this. Let's just generate another phone script just to see. Notion AI, write a phone, phone script as a real estate agent for when looking to when suggesting a price reduction to a seller client the listing hasn't had any showings in a few weeks this is great right like it's trying to put put, put itself in the in the client's shoes, like I know that a price reduction can be a difficult decision to make, but I want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to get your home sold. So these are, you know, some great lines, and obviously, you want to adjust this as well based on your knowledge of your own market and and whatever expertise you do have that you can insert into this conversation. But um, definitely gives you an outline and maybe some ways that you can phrase things um, that are going to be more palatable for your client. Um, you can also use Notion AI to to do just that, right? So like if you have something that you want to say, but it's like, how do I say this in a way that is that is not disrespectful or inconsiderate of, of what my client is going through emotionally and mentally, you can ask Notion AI to write something in a more considerate way, right? Like this, these are all ways that Notion AI can help. I think it's awesome that we um, are able to utilize technology while keeping our 
humanness, right? Like what makes us human and our ability to connect with people, Notion AI can enhance that and, and help us do these things. So yeah, great. There we go. Now we got two scripts that we can use whenever we need them. So the last way that I'm going to show you how you can use the Notion AI in your business would be basically kind of like an ideation or an idea generation tool. As real estate agents, we constantly need to be thinking of new ideas for our business when it comes to, you know, lead generation, social media content, gift ideas, like always, you know, finding better ways to serve our clients and run our business effectively, efficiently, and obviously have a thriving, successful business in any market. So I think where Notion AI does shine is, is essentially in generating ideas for you. So Okay, so I, I've just got a, a little section here in my hub called Brain Dump. So this is where I can just kind of put pieces of information, notes, or anything like that that I want to come back to later. So let's say right now I'm thinking I'm going to create a page here. So I'm going to do forward slash page. There we go. We got a new page in there. And I'm going to call it lead generation ideas. Okay, so I'm actually going to tell Notion AI to act as a real estate agent, okay? Act as a real estate agent. Brainstorm new ideas for generating client leads. Your target demographic are millennial to middle-aged to buy or sell in the Miami area. So the, again, the more information I can give Notion AI, the better it can help me come up with ideas, right? Let's see what it comes up with here. Here's some lead generation ideas that can help you. That's cool. These are good ideas. Um, I don't say they're new ideas, right? So let's see. Continue generating lead generation ideas, but make them ideas that are more uncommon and fresh. Here are some more uncommon and fresh lead generation ideas for real estate agents in the Miami area. Okay, now we have some, maybe some ideas that I, I, I wouldn't necessarily have come up with myself, right? So host a charity fundraiser, use podcasting, offer relocation service. I think that would be helpful. Uh, virtually virtual reality experience so that's that's cool and uh, forward thinking a referral program a pop-up event like see this is kind of getting my gears going it's getting me to think of new ideas that i might be able to use in my business okay, let's create a new page and i'm going to call this um gift ideas notion ai brainstorm ideas of client gifts for a real estate agent and unique client gifts for a real estate agent. Let's see. Here are some ideas to consider. Home decor, personalized home decor, gift baskets, customized cutting board, smart home devices. I like that a lot. Housewarming plants. I love that. Customized gift cards. Yeah, these are cool. And look, it even gives you a little tip. The key to a great client gift is to make it thoughtful and personalized. Take the time to get to know your clients interests and preferences, and you'll be sure to find the perfect gift that they love. No, oh, Shanae is so sweet. <laughs> so thoughtful and that's a really important tip it's not to make it general to customize it to who your client is i love that that's awesome so that covers five ways in which you can use notion ai in your business today i've dropped a link to notion ai in the description as well as to the ultimate agent hub if you want to take a look at that very fun video for me to to make for you guys today so yeah try notion ai today let me know what you think of it yeah let me know how you're using notion ai to benefit you in your business thanks for watching see you next time